If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. We good. Get him away from my kid. We good. We good. So so listen, bro. So listen, bro. I asked him, can he make me a present with no salt? He said, how can you make that? So I explained to him a way can he make it. She jumps out and said, oh no, we don't do all that. He said, we don't do all that. And you're not getting nothing, bro, so goodbye. Can you, goodbye. Can you ring me up, bro? Can goodbye. You you're up, getting bro? nothing. Can you ring me up, bro? What part of that aren't can you, you understanding? Up, bro? You're getting can you nothing. Ring me up, bro? Goodbye. Can you ring me up? That's the man that's acting like that, bro. That's the man that's acting like that. Oh, for a second, you That's the man that's acting like that. that. That's the man that's acting like that. You hear the threat? You see? She told me something big here, right? Instagram. So for the few that's going to more than likely see this video due to the fact of the notifications, uh, before the video gets started, I just have one simple request, right? When you see the video, let me know on your first take without listening to whatever it is that I'm going to say. Let me know how it is that as a customer, how would you react in this situation if it dealt with a manager uh, treating you and acting like this towards you over a very simple request? Or let me know your own experiences that you have specifically had as somebody's establishment by way of a manager, a worker, or whatever else. All right, so let's go back over this real quick, right? She didn't state that the dude had an attitude, that he came aggressive, that he came mad, that he was being disrespectful to anybody, right? It was stated that he came there and he asked for a pretzel with no salt. Um now, I've been to quite a few, you know, pretzel spots, and usually they'll have, you know, no salt pretzels because some people will prefer it, just the bread and the butter in the way that, you know, it is, and they'll have it to the side. Other instances, if they don't have it, they'll be like, okay, well, you know, if this is what you want, you know, we have this already made, uh, give us about 10 to 15 minutes and, you know, we'll, we'll make some and then, you know, that set will be for you know, for you. That's usually how it goes, right? For whatever reason, um, here, the manager wanted to be the utmost disrespectful to the customer. And normally what is always taught is that the customer is always right. And I've done a few videos and I've stated that, you know, sometimes the customer is wrong and the businesses should actually protect um, the workers. In this case, no, the customer was right. The customer was 100% right. Um, it, it, it's the utmost ridiculousness when you decide that you want to work at a job where you represent a brand, where you represent a company, and you want to talk as if you're just out on the streets, like you don't have no type of, you know, decorum about yourself. Like you, you have nothing like the, the whatever logical, <laughs> you know, type of gears that are supposed to be moving, they just stopped. And that's clear cut what happened here. When you have a worker, and not just any worker, but a manager, which is the person that's supposed to run and oversee um, the, the spot, right? And they're talking and they have the mouth of like a sailor or as if they're at a bar or if they're in a back alley somewhere. Yo, that's crazy. That is a thousand percent crazy. I don't know who exactly um this person works for you know like the owner the person actually owns um you know the spot that's there um but they better hurry up and do something quick because you don't want this person representing your company you don't want other people online to basically see this and think that this is what you are about that oh yeah we just hire anybody and we're going to allow you know anybody to just represent the com uh, company and you know treat customers any which way that they see fit like I said, the dude, even though he was being the utmost disrespected, you can hear, you know, like a certain tone in his voice because of the way that the woman was coming at the situation and so on and so on. Um, even going to the extent as what he stated before, he asked one of the workers, you know, it was two male workers there, any which one of them, none of them had an attitude. 
right? None of them were posturing up like they was about to fight. None of them were acting as though anything was disrespectful or anything like that. They were just right there. They heard what was being stated. They didn't refute anything. The only person that was talking that was loud during the whole engagement was the manager. Was the manager. Because we've all seen in other instances, if a customer was wrong to both the worker that was there and the manager, you'll see the energy from both people. But you only saw the energy directly from the manager. It wasn't from the two guys that are there. And those are young dudes. And we all know that if young dudes feel disrespected, they, they you know, you're going to see that energy real quick. But that's not what was taking place. That's not what was taking place. So this puts even more, this validates even more what it is that he was stating, that he just came there. He asked for a no salted pretzel. The guy was like, yo, we don't make those. Like, how do you make those? And, you know, he basically explained it or, you know, whatever it was. And she decided to get an attitude, get angry, get mad and all this other type of stuff. Rah, rah, rah. And she wanted to, you know, use certain words that are not even ladylike. Like I said before, and I keep and I'm going to keep saying this. You have a lot of people out here that get opportunities and they mess up their own opportunities. It ain't no if she loses her job, it ain't nobody else's fault. It ain't that customer's fault. It's her fault. The customer wasn't even being district, even in that that small little bit of uh, uh, footage that we got of that engagement. He didn't even call her out her name. She disrespected this dude twice, technically more than that, if you count the tone in which that she was talking. And then she wanted to, you know, try to belittle the dude, oh, huh, boy, bye. You're talking to a grown man and you're trying to call him a boy because you feel a certain type of, like, like I said before, man, if you are not built for customer service, do not go into a customer service job. Don't go into the customer service industry. Work for yourself. Take a desk job. Do anything else. Don't go out here. Sign up for a job. Represent a company. And this is how you talking. Like I said, like I, you know, I, like I said, I'm going to keep bringing examples. I don't know what else to to really tell people. Like I said, the proof is directly in the pudding. She cannot blame nobody else for her getting fired or being unemployed or sitting in the cheese line other than herself. Everything is directly on film. I ain't trying to hear no what ifs like, oh, well, you know, we only saw one portion. Uh, how did this all completely start? Maybe he says something to make her go. I don't want to hear none of that because irregardless of any of that, you as a person that represent a, co a, a company, you're wearing that shirt, you're wearing that name. No matter, in a sense, what uh, other than somebody physically, right? If it's just words, you're supposed to conduct yourself in a manner that is positive for the company. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do at any business that you basically work at because it is not yours, right? They hired you. You didn't hire them. You represent them. They don't represent you. So while you wear that name tag, that T-shirt, the, the the name brand and all their clothes, you, you better be sitting up there acting accordingly because if you're not, they will sit up there and fire you. And in this case, rightfully so, because she does not need to be representing anybody's company with a mouth like that. If you want to do that, then, you know, th there's a multitude of other jobs that you can do. <laughs> there's a multitude of other jobs that you can do. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and uh, everything that I stated in the comment section below. And also let me know what would your reaction be? I'm probably going to repeat this twice, right? Once at the end and I will record it for the beginning. But let me know what your reaction would be if you were the customer and this is how a manager or a worker was talking to you.